fight week. Press this button. <laughs> we got the family, got the, the team down here early, so it's uh, it's awesome. Get to speak with you, lovely people. <laughs> Dave, you good? Good. All right, let's do it, guys. It felt like um, before Saturday when you guys had that you know face to face interview that things were all right. You know things were kind of like going along okay, not much trash talk, and then that thing hit, and you guys were were back to where we were like a year ago. Did, did it feel that way too? Uh, not for me. I mean, I was wherever TJ wanted to bump his gums a little bit. I can't be mad at the guy. You know, he wants to sell the pay per view. He's a champion. He should. It, it should be riding on him to get the most pay per view you know, sales, but. Uh, he doesn't have that kind of kind of pool, so I can't be mad at him. Let him do what he wants. I'm focused on uh, the fight, you know, training, and, and just going out there and uh, getting the title back. When he says he wants to ruin your career, how does that how does that make you feel? Is that just promotion? Yeah, I mean, let him say what he wants to do. But that's uh, that motivates me, you know. When you sit there and say you're gonna motor, you know ruin my career, basically take food out of the, the, my child's mouth, my family's mouth, so that's fine. I didn't need any more motivation uh, that I already have with a new son uh, and also coming off my first loss, you know. I've been more motivated than I ever have a any win and uh, I'm healthy. I had a great camp. I made a, a lot of adjustments this camp, but they're minor adjustments that cost me the fight, you know, so uh, I'm excited to go out there. I'm healthy. I'm actually excited to sit in front of you guys and speak about what I'm going to do on Saturday night and the preparation for the whole fight camp. You know, the last fight I wasn't able to do that. I wasn't excited to come here and, and speak about what I was going to do in the octagon because I didn't visualize myself there. So I was just focused on getting myself healthy. But uh, I had a great camp. I'm blessed with the camp that I had, and the team that I had, the coaches, and just all around it was just an amazing camp. What has uh, changed you since becoming a father? Anything? I say everything, man. I think that's just uh, everything. That was one of the most uh, amazing times of my life watching my child give birth. Uh, my wife, you know, going through that. She was just uh, brought us so close together. It was just uh, kind of surreal. I mean, like right there, you can't. This little human comes out, and you have so, so much unconditional love for something so quick that you don't even know. And, uh, it was just amazing. It gave my life a lot of balance. You know, something that I needed uh, in my life. I, I, I go to the gym. And I'm, uh, I train. And I, I allow myself after I'm done training to go home and. Put on a different hat. And put on my father hat. And put on my, you know, you know my husband hat. And just be at, be at the house. I don't think about fighting. I think about just raising my child, raising, being there for my family when when they need need me. Um, so it's just a balance, man. Like I don't think about anything else but fighting. And when I leave the gym, I go home and I'm thinking about my family and just enjoying the time with them. So I mean, he, he grows so fast. I mean, he's rolling over already. He's teething. He's drooling all over the place. I mean, it's amazing how fast these little humans grow. I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. A lot of fighters say that uh, they have a kid and, and there's more incentive now to, to succeed because now you're not just trying to put you know food in your mouth. You have a whole family to, to feed. Yeah, definitely. That's something I've always wanted to do is just be there. You know, I, I think that just being there for my, my son and my family, providing for them, you know, that's I'm able to go in every day. Maybe I don't get a paycheck every day. I clock in and clock out at the gym, but it's brick by brick. You know, it leads up to this point where I'll, I'll cash in and, and get the big paycheck, get the belt back, and go on from there. So I'm able to, you know, provide for my family. You know, I, mean, I want to. You know, that's what I want to do. It's not about anything else but taking care of them, getting these fights. You know, keeping my brains about me. You know, I get. You know, get in there and get fucking batted around and walk away this, from the sport with nothing and then have to go and find something else to do to take care of my family. I put everything into this sport since I was you know, a teenager and uh, I'm obviously willing to die in there, but I, now I have a family to think about, you know, so I just want to get a little bit compensated for it, you know, go out there and put on entertaining fights and I know that it's the risk that we take every time we step in there that it's one less fight that we're in our career and who knows the next 15 years what you know those fights do to your body but uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it all uh, and it's been a great I'm just except more incentive to get in there maybe use some more head head movement you know no one can touch me I know when I use my head with my speed and uh, that's what will happen you know just use some more head movement and, and not get his much. And I want to be able to read to my son, you know, be able to walk him to the park, you know, take care of him. I want to be, you know, so uh, so broken in battle when I when I leave this sport.
Do you feel like you had a sense of invincibility before you lost that fight? I don't think I had a sense of invincibility. That's the visibility before that, you know, I was knocked out before. You know, the last time that I lost before the TJ fight was five years ago. And from that loss, I became undefeated and a world champion. You know, so I learned so much from my losses, if you want to call it a loss. I think it's uh, kind of blessings in disguise. You know, I, you know, I um, did things wrong in that camp. You know, I had some, some personal issues, battling some, you know, demons and just things like that. And this. You know, that all affects everything. Everything it goes, it weighs on you. But you know, I got my life in order. I got my balance. I got, I'm great. I mean, I'm super blessed. Man. I'm, I'm thankful. I'm right with the Lord. I got right with the Lord. And uh, you know, whatever happens on a Saturday night, I'm just gonna go out there and you know make my uh, family proud. You know? Go out there and fight with honor and courage, like I always do. Put on entertaining fights and be as savage as I am. When that cage door locks, forever, however long I need to do. My job to get it done, I'll do it. You know, at any any cost, any risk, anything. You've added a family to your life since then. Would you have to subtract anything from your life that you have to change things up in any way with people you associate with, or the way yeah. you train, the way you live? Lost a little bit of sleep, but uh, you sleep when you're dead. You know, so uh, <laughs> that's it. No, I got a good son. He, he sleeps throughout the night. And, uh, that's the only thing. I, I really didn't have to subtract too much uh, negativity in my life. I would, I live a pretty positive life. I have a lot of good people around me. Uh, my wife's amazing. My family's amazing. My teammates, my coaches. So I don't have too much negativity, man. Like I guess I just push that out. And I think that's something that I focused on last fight was just the build up in the fight, and, you know, and, and, and really, man, it turned me from my main goal was being a champion and the focus of that. You know, kind of got a little wrapped up in that a little bit. Uh, but that's, I had the time to sit there and talk shit in the media and do that because I was injured. I wasn't, wasn't able to be in the gym, you know what I mean? So 